Hi everyone, welcome back to Jiu-Jitsu Fundamentals. Uh, today we're gonna finish up what uh, I showed last Saturday, which is uh, the mousetrap sequence. Uh, we'll quickly review the key lock to straight arm lock, and then we'll go into the finishing sequence, which will be a Kimura. And then after that, we will uh, we'll cover a little, a little extra submission from side control that I really like. So uh, just to recap what we did last week, Marion, if you could lay down for me. You'll recall we're starting in side control. Got my underhook. Oh, let's go back a little. Oh. So I'm in my side control position. Uh, I talked about how I really like to swim this leg through my left knee and then over her bicep to staple it down. I've got four limbs against two. I might as well use them. Now I've isolated her arms. She can't clasp them together, which is sort of the, uh, the green light for me to start to really hunt for submissions now. So uh, what we covered last week, I've got my underhook. The arm that I'm cross-facing is gonna come around. Boom, I'm gonna staple my elbow to the mat, pinning her head between my knee and elbow. You get your frame, Marianne. She'll be framing against my neck most likely. So I'm gonna swim my left arm under and over, and I'm going to get a grip on her wrist here and pin it to the mat. You recall that we're not using our thumb for this grip. It's more of like a C grip here, no thumb, pinning it down. Her arm should be making an L shape. My right arm that had the underhook, if you recall, is basically just gonna stay right where it is. So as I bring her arm down, my right arm is already underneath uh, her, her arm. So I've got my grip on her wrist. My right hand is gonna grip my own wrist. So I've got this grip. Now, a couple details we, we worked over last week to uh, finish this. I'm going to rev the motorcycle engine. I want her palm facing up or even a little bit away from me. I'm gonna bring her elbow down towards her hip, and then I'm going to paint the mat with the back of her knuckles, tap. and she'll tap. Now you recall last week, she, uh, she didn't like this, so she's gonna straighten her arm out, right? So I'm going to inch my body up and follow the arm. I wanna make sure that, uh, if possible, I want her thumb facing up. That'll be the easiest way to finish this submission, though I guess it's a good point to uh, to point out that if her thumb is facing, let's say this way, uh, the arm lock is still here, but rather than pushing straight down, I wanna push away from the thumb. So there's a saying in jujitsu, the pinky points the way. So if her thumb is facing this direction, now I'm gonna be pushing the opposite direction to get that, uh, that arm lock. But for, uh, for the sake of this uh, particular move, we're gonna say that the thumb is pointing up. That way, as I follow the arm up her body, I can start to press down with my left hand and up with my right arm. As I turn my right arm from flat, up, up so like this, so that the blade, the sharp edge of my arm is right under her elbow. Here, I start to go. Tap. And she'll tap. Okay, so that's what we covered last week very quickly. Now. To finish this sequence, what happens if she gets her arm down towards her hip? Like so, right? Now it's down here. Uh, I can't do my straight arm lock now. I can't do my key lock, but what I can do is my Kimura. So we're here, something like this. She gets that arm away from me. All I'm gonna do is switch uh, my right arm for my left. So it's almost like this reverse underhook where I'm taking this underhook out and I'm bringing my left one in. Now it's just almost like the exact inversion of a key lock. I've got this uh, sort of reverse um, underhook. Now my right hand is gonna pin her hand to the mat, palm down, and I'm gonna get same kind of grip where now my left hand is grabbing my right wrist. Okay? Now, uh, we talked about the key lock 
wanting to bring the elbow down towards the hip to finish. The Kimura is the exact opposite in a lot of ways. Now what we want to do is bring the elbow up towards the head. Okay. Now to finish it, uh, again, no thumbs in my grip. To finish it, I'm going to uh, kind of hip out onto my right hip. Like so. And I need to be able to step over her head. Like this. So we're here, hip out, step over her head. Now I'm gonna pull her up to create space under her back for me to start turning that arm into. If we're here and for whatever reason, if she starts to come up onto her side more, I can come all the way up here, pin this elbow to my sternum and then start to slowly rotate my body to get the finish. One more time. From that Kimura position. Put your arm down. Sorry. So, got this reverse underhook, grabbing her wrist, palm down, grabbing my own wrist. I'm gonna bring the elbow up towards the head. It's gonna make it much tighter, much quicker. Now I'm gonna drop to my right hip, step over the head with my left leg, pull her up, yeah. look to finish. If she comes all the way to her side, gonna come all the way here, straddling her head, gonna staple her elbow to my sternum, and I'm gonna start to look in the direction I want that arm to go. Yeah. And she'll tap. Okay. You want to get a rep in? All right, Marianne's going to start with the Kimura. So she was looking for that um, key lock, then arm lock, the whole mass trap sequence. I now bring my arm down. So go ahead and get that reverse underhook. Good. Are you using your thumb? Mm -mm. Good. No thumb in the script. Now, what do you do? Good, she brings her el my elbow up to my head. She's gonna drop to her right hip, which is gonna allow her to step over my head with her left leg. She's gonna pull me up so my back is off the mat, creating space, and then she's gonna finish the Kimura. If I go all the way to my side, she's gonna come here, straddle the head, staple the elbow to her sternum, and turn her whole body. It's a really important detail, guys, when you get to this north-south Kimura position. A lot of times you'll see beginners, they've got the Kimura grip, but the arm's way out here, and they're trying to use a lot of arm strength to turn it and crank it, and it's a much more powerful technique. You can pin it to your body, to the trunk of your body, so that it becomes a rotation, a full body rotation where the arms are just holding it in place and forces it to follow rather than having her arm strength against my arm strength. Uh, in jiu-jitsu, we always want to take advantage of our advantages. So um, that's a really important detail to keep in mind. Uh, so now we're going to go on to our bonus submission. Uh, Mary, why don't you lay with your head facing the camera now? So I've taught this one a lot for people who come to my classes. I'm sure it'll look familiar. Uh, it's, it's probably my favorite triangle uh, outside of maybe a mounted triangle because for whatever reason, it's people don't expect this one. You don't see it a lot, but I find it to be very, uh, very powerful I can, and, and very easy to finish once you get there. Um, so we're in side control. It's going to be the same kind of situation where I want to swim my knee in and then over her arm and staple it down with my shin. So now we're here. Maybe I've still got my cross face or whatever. Now all I want to do is I want to windshield wiper my left leg all the way over. So now it's no longer pinning her arm. It's going to come all the way over so her arm is between my legs. 
I always say, you got an arm between your legs, there's a triangle somewhere. So once we're here, there's a number of ways to get to the next position. Uh, one way of doing so, I can reach back to grab that arm, pull it up as I rotate my hips and get into this uh, scarf hold-esque type position. Okay, so I've got the arm between my legs now. There's a number of submissions we can actually do here. There's, a, there's like a key lock here. We can look for like a straight arm lock, uh, all sorts of stuff. But right now we're gonna look for that triangle. So once I'm here, all I need to do, be pulling up on this arm so she can't get it away, pinch my thighs together. So if she does try to pull that arm out, it's gonna be tough, especially in the gi. At this point, I wanna cup the back of her head with my left arm. So I'm gonna bring my arm over, pull her head up off the mat. I wanna step over and I wanna get the back of my ankle behind her skull. Still pulling back on the arm now if I need to. All I'm gonna do is fall back and pull her with me here. It's like an inverted triangle from side control. So again, the sequence, she's got her frames, okay? All I'm gonna do is swim this left leg back and then over to pin that, staple it down with my shin. Now I'm gonna windshield wiper the leg over, trapping the arm between my legs. Can reach back if I need to, pull the arm up, switch my hips onto my right hip. Pinch my thighs together, reach behind her head, pull it up off the mat, I'm gonna step over, secure her head behind my ankle, kind of like right, right above my heel. Pull up on the arm again. And I'm just gonna fall backwards, pulling her with me, and then locking up the triangle. And at this point, I just squeeze, get my submission. Uh, it might look a little different or complicated if you're a beginner, but uh, it's really not that tricky. Um, it's just a triangle from a different angle. Very powerful move. Uh, you can ask some of my training partners. I finish this all the time, um, especially if you don't know it's coming, if you haven't seen it before. So I'm gonna let Marianne get one rep and then we'll wrap up. All right, side control, I've got my frames. She's gonna swim that leg over and through, stapling my arm down. Now she's gonna windshield wiper her, her shin over uh, but don't bring the other one over. And just trap the arm between her legs. She can reach back if she needs to to pull up on that arm as she switches her hips onto her right hip. Now pinch your legs together so my arm is stuck. She's gonna take her hand, cup the back of my head, lift it off the mat so she can step over, pin the back of my head against her leg, her heel, whatever. Now she's going to fall back onto her back, holding the arm. And she's going to lock up the triangle and squeeze. Tap. All right, guys. So just to review, we finished the mousetrap sequence. That's the name that it was taught to me back in the day. Side control, we're looking for the key lock to arm lock to Kimura. And the important thing about it is like, let's say you get to the Kimura and you can't finish it and they straighten their arm back again. Well, we stick with it. Now we're, we're looking for the arm lock again. Back to Kimura, looking for the Kimura. They get their arm straight over their head or even to the side or whatever, looking for the key lock. The point is no matter which direction or what option they're looking to alleviate that pressure on the arm, there's always a counter and a submission that we can look for. So we just stay there Oftentimes it's a battle of attrition. Eventually you'll catch them in something from, from that sequence. And then lastly, that, uh, that inverted triangle from side control. Uh, I highly recommend it. I have a lot of success with it. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.